this is adios and not goodbye. Your heart can hold. Please say, see, say you and your Spanish eyes will wait. Say you and your Spanish eyes will wait for me. Johnson, are you awake? Awake? What, with a smack like that? I should say I am awake. What do you think of Buddy? He's out in the corridor. Yes, I threw him out. I had to, boy. You should let him in. We got a long day tomorrow. Yes, boy, I suppose I should. Yeah, I'll do that now. What you get for hitting you across the face with that newspaper?
But I'd rather be blue than black in the blue when I didn't want to raise a stink. I was white with rage, but still, your love for me must have been about nil. And if you'd come back, I'd be tickled to pink. All right, there on blue, cause I was yellow. Three of them were that red, too. All right, one with rage on any round off when he up and left with two. All right, my character is black and oh Lord, what can I do? Demille, Deming, Demings, Demon, Dempsey, Derner, Dennis, De Neuverville, Dennis, De Roche, De Pre. There's gotta be a new from there and there somewhere. Hold on. De Pre, De Pre, De Rossier, De Verdin, McCann. Look at that, McCann. Sherry McCann. Look at that. Okay, let me see. I don't see. Yes. <laughs> Hello? Oh, yeah, looking for Sherry McCann. Sherry, <laughs> are you getting on? Buddy, what's his name, Colin? Uh, look, where are you from? Yes, I knew that. You know, I'll come. <laughs> no trouble to tell you're from Newfoundland because they got your name in the wrong place in the phone book. <laughs> no trouble at all finding you. <laughs> Listen, we want to get together with you. So, Sherry McCann. Sherry, where, where did you grow up? What's your home? I'm a gander girl. Yeah. I left Newfoundland in 1973, January the 25th. I even remember the date. Mm. So a couple of months ago, I was celebrating with champagne 20 years in Edmonton. Was it 20 oh, years? Yeah. Yeah. If you live in Edmonton, even if you live in a park and you know a really nice spot with, yes. with trees and nature, there's still no ocean. There's none of those smells. When I get homesick, I have to go to a fish store and go in <laughs> and <laughs> take a big whiff, as you would say. Yeah. And you know I'm good for about an hour. Yeah. <laughs> and so uh, I would I would take to actually trying to imagine what it would be like if I had stayed home. You know, if I'd taken a different chance and if, mm. if I'd made different decisions. But are you satisfied? I mean, you know, doing what you're doing up here, you're doing something which is really valuable. I'm happy here in this city. Uh, Edmonton has been really good to me. But it isn't everything. And I still think that this is, this is just a transition. I don't know what's going to happen next year, next month. I mean, you know, the economic downturns are happening um, in government, in go governments across the country. So I'm not sure when it's going to be necessary for me to think, you know, think about moving. But in any case, I, I, you know, it's really occurred to me that Newfoundland is there and I can go back and I will keep going back and it keeps getting easier for me to go back. And now that I have a little boy who I want to experience Newfoundland as he grows up, then I know if, you know, if it's the last penny I can put together, even if we're unemployed, I'll probably be trying to find some way of putting together $600 to go home because now it's Im important to me. When I moved here, it didn't seem to matter all that much. As a matter of fact, I was really glad to leave Newfoundland. You know, I was like any other 21-year-old. Yes. Oh, you know, the whole world is happening somewhere else. And I expected life over here to be so fast and so exciting and to have so much new stuff. And the more years went by over here, the better Newfoundlander I became. The job situation calls you away. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and so you go to where the work is. But it doesn't necessarily mean that you feel differently. It certainly doesn't mean that you you figure you would rather live on the mainland because mm. it has something more to offer. It has a job. Yeah. And actually, that's kind of important. And I think the world is probably full of Newfoundlanders who would go home if they had had a chance. Yeah, please,
just to wake up in the morning to the quiet of the cove and hear Aunt Bessie talking to herself and to hear poor Uncle John mumbling wishes to O'Neill. It made me feel like everything was fine. I was born down by the water. It's here I'm gonna stay. A search for all the reasons why I should go away. But I haven't got the thirst for all those modern day toys. So I'll just take my chances with those salt water joys. Following a little brook as it trickles to the shore in the autumn when the trees are flaming red. Kicking leaves that fall around me, watching sunset paint the hills. It's all I'll ever need to feel at home. This island that we cling to has been handed down with pride by folks who fought to live here, taking hardships all in stride. So I'll compliment her beauties, hold on to my goodbyes, and I'll stay and take my chances with those salt water joys. How can I leave those mornings with the sunrise on the cove? And the gulls like flies surrounding Clayton's Wharf. Platter's Island wrapped in rainbow in the evening after fog. The ocean smells are perfume to my soul. Some go to where the buildings reach to meet the clouds. Where warm and gentle people turn to swarm and faceless crowds. So I'll do without their riches, glamour and the noise. And I'll stay and take my chances with those salt water joys. Some go to where the buildings reach to meet the clouds. Where warm and gentle people turn to swarm and faceless crowds. So I'll do without their riches, glamour and the noise. And I'll stay and take my chances with those salt water joys. Electric heat, an economical way to heat. Okay, try it again. Like we're doing. Y E L L O W K E E E R D. And the hell with it, boys. So listen, Jack, you've been living in Yellowknife for 35 years. Tell me, what's all this about diamonds these days? Most northerners in Yellowknife are buying diamond shares so they can get rich. And then they, in turn, can sell them to someone else and get richer. <laughs> yes, I know what you're talking about. Because, look, I think I'm going to lose my two buddies, Kevin and Ray. Just look at them. No, it's undermined. No, no, I was no, here no, first. No, I had them. No, I, no, I had them. Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. What's what the matter you, with you? What do you got there, boys? Uh, we're stakes. Yeah, what are you doing? We're claiming stakes. No, 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 no. It's staking claims. Oh, uh, stakes. Stakes. Stakes, man. You can have them. It sounds like too much work for me. But you gotta stick to the accordion. That's what I'll do. <laughs>
Uncle Sam, what do you think of it all? Doris is not like old Mizzabite. No, oh, boy. Doris is a lot more cash. Not more cash. Where are they all going? Where do you I think they're all going? going? Well, I don't know. I was thinking like that, I was saying. Yes. There's dirt, sir. Dirt, sir. What I have to say is dirt something leads. Yeah. Yeah. A bingo game. A bingo. A bingo game. Yeah. 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 Uncle Sam, there seem to be so many going some way and some coming this way. Do you understand that? That's the trouble there. That's the trouble was coming from home. Yes. And now they're going to, and that's going to, 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 that's going to
the arse has gone right out of her. The undersigned have successfully, have, okay, have successfully completed the TIS. D A T I S, the TIS. <laughs> and then it's your name, Pam Stone. Now she's ready for whatever the mainland throws at her. <laughs> Magnetic hill, boy, look. Oh. Yeah, here we are, buddy. Okay, now, boys, watch out. When I take the foot off the brake, she's gone. She's going to shoot right up the hill. That's what they say. Magnetic hill, right? Right on. Right. Okay. Now. Huh. No. She wants, she wants, no, she wants a nudge. Give her a nudge. Stand clear. Nothing. She wants... No. Hold nah. on. Great. Hold on. Give me a hit. Give me a One, two, three. Hey! One, two, three. Hey! One, two, three. Hey! That's not working. I'm convinced, boys. This is all noise. Mag 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 magnetic hill. Fake. It's all fake. fake. Do nothing. Oh. Ah! Something wrong with this, boys. She's after me. She's after me. She's after me. I remember the time when my grandpa and I was sitting.
Why is another famous Canadian landmark? Look, this is the clock in Halifax. Yes, but do you know there's anything unusual about it? Uh, yes, boy, we're going to have to go fix that. Why? It's a half hour slow. Ah. Who would have believed we could get life insurance at our age? Winds which build due to the absence of any other species of tree to break the wind. It's made out of a very hard material and make very poor Christmas trees. Many people have ruined many a chainsaw trying to harvest these things, and they don't make very good decorations indoors as they weigh 22 tons apiece. Now, if you think that's one mother of a tree, you should have seen the woodpecker that hollowed out the trunk. <laughs> and as soon as you turn off the camera, I'm going to see if I can water the tree. Oh, I was born with a crazy gift when I didn't want to use. I could put my face in any shape, use my bow of the cords to amuse. I could imitate almost anything, and it came so naturally. But I wanted to be a lawyer, and that's no good. Boys were home. It was a good trip, but you know what? There's one thing we got to keep in mind. Don't relax too much. No, can't. because there's a massive need for our services. Yeah. You know, like we're like medical people. That's we got to right. get out there and we got to save those people. We got to so. inject joy and happiness into their lives. Yes, what do you think, bud? Oh yeah, like I, they they need us. Don't they, they need us. Why? Yeah. And like, like I said, we cannot stay home on the rock too long. No. That's right. All those no, people right across the country, like they they have the, they have a vacuous spot in their heart for exactly. a piece of Newfoundland culture. Yes, yeah. How long have we been home now? Five, five days. days. Five days. That, that's a long time. Oh, and if yes. you feel like oh, yeah. I feel, I feel like the, I got to yeah. get up and go again. Yes. Or something. Well, yes, Ray. You like that? Yes, Ray. The services are needed. The bastions of hope will oh. always be fulfilled as oh. long as Buddy, what's his name, and the other fellows yes. are at the foundation. Yes, I believe that too. Oh, <laughs> well, Come on, man. Let's move along with it. On tour. On tour. Again. Buddy, what's his name, and the other fellows? Onward and upward, boys. We must. 